Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to parametric equations and as usual I'll timestamp the different parts of this video so you can just skip through to some uh, example questions if you want. And so we'll start off by saying well, what are parametric equations, right? Well, pretty much they're just an alternative way for us to describe a curve. So usually when we've been describing curves we've been using Cartesian equations which will look something like this, say y is equal to 2x squared plus 4, okay? Well, when we're using our parametric equations, we have two equations to describe the one curve, at least for in two dimensions. So we'll have one that's describing what's happening to x. So we could say that, well, x is equal to, say, some function of t. And we'll have another equation which is describing what's happening to y. So say y is equal to some other function, g of t. Now, the benefit of using these parametric equations is that we can, one, describe a lot more complex curves that we can't actually describe using our Cartesian equations. And the other one is, say we have some really horrible Cartesian equation that's difficult to differentiate. Well, we could represent that as two more simple parametric equations that we could then differentiate or just work on, and it makes the maths a lot more easier. So we call this value of t here inside the function, we call that our parameter. Okay, and so as that value changes, that's going to change our values of x and y. And so I think the best way to sort of look at this is with an example. So And so we need to sketch the graph given by the parametric equations, x equals t plus 2 and y equals t squared plus 6. Okay, and so the way we're going to sketch a curve uh, given by parametric equations is with a table like this one here. Okay, so we're going to take some values for our parameter t, so I'm going to go from negative 3 up to positive 3 so let me write this in like 1 2 3 and then what we're going to do is write down the values of x and y for each given value of t so for example when uh, t is equal to negative 3 our value of x okay is going to be given by well negative 3 plus 2 okay so x is going to be negative 1 so let me write that in and our value of y is going to be equal to well substituting negative 3 into our equation for y we get negative 3 squared which is 9 plus 6 well that's going to give me 15 Okay, and so we've got one coordinate. We've got when x is negative 1, y is equal to 15. And so now I'm just going to fill out the rest of the values for this table. Okay, so I've completed the table and plotted a few of the points on my graph. And you can see that these parametric equations were describing a quadratic curve or a parabola. And I can sort of connect them like this and you can see the parabola there. So the second part of this question asks, well, what is the value of y when x is equal to 8? So how can we do that? Well, firstly, I'm going to bring down the pair of uh, par parametric equations. And so how can we find the value of y? Well, when x is equal to 8, we could substitute that into our top uh, equation. So we've got that 8 is equal to t plus 2, which is going to give us that t, our uh, parameter at that point, is equal to 6. And so to find the value, corresponding value of y, I'm just going to substitute t equals 6 into my equation for y. And we get that y is equal to 6 squared plus 6. And so we've got 36 plus 6. And we get that y is going to be equal to 42. Okay, and that would be an answer to that question. Let's now take a look at another question here, where we have a curve that's given by the following parametric equations, and I've drawn a sketch of the curve down here, just a little sketch, and we need to find the points where the curve crosses the x-axis. Well, how can we do that? Well, the curve is going to cross the x-axis when y is equal to 0. So let's substitute that in. So when y is equal to 0, we have 0 is equal to t cubed minus t. And now let's factorise this and solve to find values of t for when y is equal to 0. So we get that 0 is equal to, well, we could pull out a factor of t, and we've got t multiplied by t squared minus 1. And so the solutions to this are going to be that t is equal to 0, t is equal to positive 1, or t is equal to negative 1. Okay. And now I'm going to substitute these values for my parameter into my equation for x, and this will give me coordinates okay so when we have t is equal to 0 well x is going to be equal to negative 2 so we've got uh, uh, when t is equal to 0 x is equal to negative 2 when t is equal to 1 well we've got 2 multiplied by 1 squared which is just one, uh, 2 subtract 2 is 0 so we've got x is equal to 0 and the same follows for when t is equal to negative 1 so we also have x is equal to 0 and so my curve is going to cross the x-axis at these points here negative 2 0 and 0, 0. And that would be another solution to that question. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe and share. And go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.